I just got to Connecticut and am meeting up with Derek. We met him in Southport, North Carolina. He's getting the dinghy right now. We're gonna go check out this catamaran that he's putting electric motors on and doing up. So I'm excited because that's that's what I want to do with mine. So let's go check it out. Let's get on the dinghy. Sweet. For the back here, so just watch your head. All right. Miss Goosey. Miss Goosey. All right. Yes, it feels good to be back in a boat. Oh my God, this is great. It cooled off fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want a dinghy like this. Oh my God. It makes a big difference. Wow. He has this. He has a 15 horsepower motor on his dinghy, like the one I have on the catamaran. I think I'm going to get a dinghy like this to put my motor on on the dinghy. Oh yeah, because you have a short shaft, it would go well on a yeah, dinghy. Yeah, it'd be perfect. So that's Fort Crumble, and then we're going to go by the Bark Eagle there. Okay. That's where they make the nuclear submarines over there at EB. So that ship was spoils of war from the German Navy after World War II. Really? Yeah, it was like their officer training vessel. And we took it, and now it's the Coast Guard officer training vessel. Who's a crab claw? This is the catamaran. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So these are the these are the motors that are coming off. And then they have like this um, you know, um tilting trim apparatus up here. Yes. And then the actual motors in there. And then the controllers are like up inside of the boat. That is so. And so cool. the way this guy was is they were mounted on these quinces. Uh huh. There's like a special name for these things. I forget what it is. But these guys were under mounted here, and then the motors swung up into those holes. Although these ones didn't really fit up into those holes, they were for like an earlier design. Huh. And so I'm, I filled these in. And then I cut new holes back here for where the new drives are gonna go. And I'm glassing in new lamination beds for sail drives that'll be in the back. Oh, I see. And the transoms there. And then so I can cool. show you inside here too. You can see. So it's like, this is like the beginning of the process. So this is like just a, you know, two days into the installation. But that's the beginning of the lamination bed in there. You know, it gets all glassed into the hull. Uh-huh. And then a motor mount. So there's like a metal ring you can see in the lamination bed. Mm -hmm. And we tap into that and then mount a actual like mount for the motor on top of that. So that electric motor will sit right in there. That's you know, so the little cool. blue pod that'll be down there and then that'll be it. And the batteries will go inside of where the motors used to swing in. What kind of boat is this? This is called a main cap 38. So those are the holes that I'm filling in, you know. So it used to actually be open to the ocean below. Oh wow. Yeah. That's cool. And then the motor controllers that came off are all like down in here. 
you know, there's obvious other stuff that go with it. Uh huh. But those motors on the ground are controlled by these boxes here. That's like a Kelly controller with some canned stuff and a relay. Uh huh. And so that's like what does the uh, the brains of the motor. It's like an ESC. Yeah, like an ESC. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like an ESC for a remote control car. Yeah. Exactly like that. I mean, exact same function. Nice, but a little more advanced. Yeah. Yeah, and it has more like data outputs and stuff. But some of the ESCs are pretty advanced too. And then if you go in there, I'll show you where the generator is. Oh yeah. So. This, so well, this is a 3.5 kilowatt AC generator. So if you did the electric system like this and you had a big charger inverter, you'd be able to run it. I'll turn some light on here for you. You'd be able to run it pretty much indefinitely off of that generator there. Nice. And so that's a Whisper Power 3KW. Sounds 3.5 KW, yeah, it's supposed to be. I mean, the owner of this boat says it's really quiet. So we're replacing that with a six kilowatt 48 volt DC direct generator to make mm. this a more powerful hybrid setup. Nice. But yeah, it's warm in here. Yeah. Head back and go for the tail. Yeah. But yeah, this boat's a super <sighs> sweet layout. It definitely has a couple things with the, a current propulsion system that we're fixing now, but it's a really cool boat. This thing is awesome. I love how the windows go all the way around. Yeah, it has like good sight lines for watching your sails. I really like how we mounted this guy up top here. It's like really good lines of sight with a big display screen and stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, it's a really good layout. Dude, this thing is so cool. Oh my God. Oh, it feels so good out here. It is a million degrees in there. Wow. Yeah, let's head on back. I like the purple. Yeah. You don't see that on a lot of boats. No, it's like a good scene too. I'm from Minnesota, so it might be like color. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I like swimming. We're on Derek's boat now. Derek, what kind of boat is this? This is a Trip 37, a 1987, and it is like an old race boat that we've converted into our liveaboard okay. cruiser. Yeah, just keep pushing on us off there. And it's electric. Electric yes. hybrid. This is so cool. So this is what I want to do with the catamaran. I want to put two electric motors on it and a bunch of batteries and a... Uh, a lot of solar panels, so we get so quiet. Yep, we're underway. It's like my dinghy with the trolling motor. Yes. Oh, because you got that little Minn Min Kota or Yeah, yeah, or the uh, Newport vessels. Okay, yeah. Connecticut, but today we are sailing to New York for the sunset and dinner and bratwurst dinner. Yeah, uh, what island are we headed to? We're heading to Flat Hammock next to Fisher's Island. Okay. Fisher's Island, New York. Sweet. We're sailing to New York. It's not going to take very long. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like the closest uh, New York land to us right now. Apparently it's still kind of in Connecticut, but we're sailing to New York. To me, there's like a, a blip that goes up around 7, it's like 15 to 25. Yeah, we'll just watch the storms. Like, we'll probably be anchored over there. Yeah, we just got to keep an eye on it because there's one shell that I think is going to totally miss us to the north, but we'll just have to keep an eye on it just in case it grows. All right, let me know when you're ready to go up. But, you know, it depends on the We're only using like a kilowatt right now. Uh huh. And we're going like three and a half knots. Ah, uh, okay. So if you had that big solar array, you could do like this speed off of like just the sun. You uh, know? Continuously. Continue. Oh, with, when the sun's shining. So yeah. Continuously at noon. If you could find <laughs> noon continuously, you'd be all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Evo. Okay, so just pull first, it'll be easy until it's too hard.
you are, Bobby. Yeah, I was about to yeah. say that's, uh, <laughs> we could just go and crank down the main pad, that red rope that comes to the base of the mast. So I can let this guy out. Until it stops. There you go. Cool. And we are sailing. Still so quiet. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. Sailing is fun. <laughs> I think it was the guy who invented Segway owns it or owned it. So then the guy bought Segway and died on a Segway, but it wasn't that guy. It was the guy who originally invented the Segway. Oh, it's the guy who made the Coca-Cola fountain machines yeah. for all the restaurants. Yeah, the that's a, yeah. So I'm pretty sure he was the guy who who owns that. And it because it was in between Connecticut and New York, he was actually getting taxed in both states. What? So that he tried to use that opportunity to declare independence. <laughs> from both states and be his own state and that didn't work out but in that process i think he got cut off from all shore power from both states <laughs> and everything else and now he's like totally off grid with all his own equipment that's awesome I'm though not sure that's exactly how it happened but there was some, some version of that story probably relatively true he's got a lot of solar and a big wind turbine oh he has one of my favorite boats aphrodite this is an old like plastic like tramp uh like 1920s tramp cruiser wow like the gilded age so it goes the fishers island and usually to watch you know from fishers and you know you see it out at nantucket and block and other places like that but it's quite the quite the pretty boat so is that like a water taxi back in the day uh yeah i think it's like a billionaire's water taxi now for like the dupont you know, like out here is like the DuPonts have hot places out here, like Rockefellers, Rothschilds. Like this is like the ultra elite. Like these are the people who look down at the Hamptons as being like <laughs> plebeian. So this is like the Hamptons, Hamptons out here. And so that boat, I think, is just people use it. To bring, you know, they, they shuttle people out here from shore on it. You know, gifts and stuff like that. Nice. Burling of the jib. That man is just letting it all Uh oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Jesus. He's feeling I'm proud. Oh, I'm sure. Perfect. I was hoping for a bathtub. Did not get it. So there's a pretty big storm over there heading this way. I don't know if it's gonna hit us, it might go around us. What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> um, I don't know, I think we'll get the edge of it, I guess. Cool. We'll see. No, I'm excited. spread out now it's gonna be so cool oh yeah can't wait i love just where the I red is burning down on like the horizon it. watching oh, that God, kind of like me. take over the rest it's of the cloud the other thing too to me though i'm like so like especially like after having been in a couple of really big storms on the boat i'm like so unimpressed by fireworks now uh, mostly yeah. because there's no <laughs> jeopardy Hung out for a while and uh, now we're gonna head back. It's not windy at all anymore, so we're just gonna use the motors, but it's still so quiet. It's perfect. Storm didn't hit us, we got lucky. And those hot dogs, yeah, surprise, they were full of cheese. It was delicious. How are we going? Hey.
It is. <laughs> nice and quiet. Silence. Okay, this just continues like the experience beyond. Exactly. And I'll show you guys too because I want to run the generator because I haven't ran it for like two months. Sure. Yeah. So I'll show you later on. But even with that running, it's, it's still like just like you, know, you still mostly just hear the exhaust and the water. You know, like it's still so quiet. No, that's beautiful because it allows you to just essentially roll through and continue having this. Yep. Without just like the normal combustion you'd hear. And yeah, it seems exactly. really. How's it going? Yeah, no, it's Good. Good to awesome. know we can swing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's got shallow over here on me. Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. I think I'm all right. <laughs> Just like a sports car. Yeah. Well, this too. This is like Weird barely. This is barely even flogging it. I'm at three kilowatts right now, and it's capable of like twelve continuously. Damn. But that's a lot more than this boat needs. Right, right, right. But at this speed, I have about five hours of range okay. without on just these batteries, and they're like a small out. battery bank because it has the generator. I've been contemplating taking the generator out and just putting in a lot more batteries and having it be totally pure electric. How fast are we going? 7.8 over ground right now. And how many kilowatts are we using? We're using almost nine. Not bad. So that's about as much as I'd need to push this boat. But this I only can do with the generator running even at this speed for like four hours. I see. So then what do I you would, usually normally cruise that to be Normally we cruise, I'll show you. We cruise like down here at like three and a half kilowatts. Actually, I can put this in cool night mode too. Sweet. Nice. That's oh fancy. Yeah. And so, at three and a half kilowatts, how fast are we going now? Right now, we're going. We're still slowing down, but we're at like 6.5 over ground, and the wheel's kind of dirty, so it's showing lower speeds. But it's showing us at like five and a half through the water. Cool. But yeah, this we can do on the batteries for like three and a half hours without the generator running or we can do this indefinitely with the generator running and charge the batteries. Awesome. That's so cool. Yep, and about a half half the fuel consumption of a normal diesel too because the generator is a lot more efficient running at a lot higher speed. So our fuel, we did like, obviously we sailed a lot, but we probably did a thousand miles. What's that? Generator diesel? Yeah, generator okay. diesel. And we did about like a thousand miles of motoring probably on our way back up north and we used like 37 gallons of diesel. So, that's really good. Yeah, for a thousand miles yes, of motoring. Yes, that's insane. Yeah. And so we did motor sail some of that. So it wasn't like we were like flogging the motor like this the whole time. Sometimes we were only doing like two kilowatts instead of four or something, you know? Mm. But we were motoring. Except for a few times when we were like maybe in a, maybe we had a really good wind and we were just on the jib and like the intercoastal and we would sail where it got wider and stuff and like Indian River, places like that. Yeah. Thank you, Derek and Grace, for inviting me out on your boat. And thank you to all the patrons who make these videos possible.